Uh, hello there and uh, welcome to my new video. So in this video I want to explain you more about uh, variables uh, and basic types in uh, Kotlin. So uh, before we start uh, we're going to use uh, uh, something called the REPL. So uh, REPL is short for read, evaluate, print, loop and uh, it's basically a command line tool which uh, lets you execute uh, some uh, code in Kotlin. Uh, we can access REPL inside Android Studio by uh, going to tools uh, menu and uh, we can execute commands inside REPL by holding control Control enter. So here uh, let's uh, open up uh, REPL. So click Tools, then Kotlin, and then Kotlin REPL. So a window will appear, and uh, here uh, you might see some uh, error with this uh, red text, but don't worry about that. Let's clear this uh, by right clicking and uh, click cre uh, Clear All. Okay, so now let's expand this window on the top, and uh, here we're going to write some code. Uh, but before that, uh, I want to talk about variables in Kotlin. So there are two main keywords for declaring uh, variables. Uh, the first one is uh, var and uh, it basically lets you assign a value to a variable multiple times and uh, is known as a mutable variable. And the second one, uh, val, uh, uh, do not uh, let you to assign a value uh, multiple times and uh, can be initialized only single time and uh, is known as uh, immutable uh, variable in Kotlin. Uh, so here we're going to start by uh, declaring two variables. So the first one will be var and uh, it will be equals to zero. And the second one uh, we're going to use the different uh, keyword val and uh, number two will be equals to zero as well. Okay. Okay, so now below that uh, let's try encoding uh, one of those uh, variables. So when you start typing uh, the name of this variable uh, you will see on the right side that this uh, variable is uh, integer type and basically our compiler uh, uh, can declare uh, whether this is uh, integer uh, string uh, uh, double float or anything else or we can declare explicitly like this but we don't need uh, explicitly uh, declaring so let's uh, set this to 0 0.5 and let's call this variable once again so now you'll see on the right side it says double. So basically our compiler uh, recognized that uh, this uh, variable has dot and uh, it assigned a double to it. So this time when we set f, uh, the compiler will uh, recognize as a float. And uh, when we uh, set a double quote and we uh, set some text, the compiler will uh, recognize this as a string type. Okay, so you don't need to explicitly uh, write the type of uh, this variable. Okay. So uh, now when we try to, for example, print those uh, two values, you will see what will happen. So uh, we can also set uh, single quotes here and the compiler will uh, recognize this as a character variable or character type variable. So let's uh, switch this to zero and now uh, let's try to assign this uh, first variable a different number and let's assign the second variable a different number as well. And now we are going to print those two and uh, see what happens. So let's use a simple uh, print uh, method. And here inside double quotes, uh, we're going to write uh, a string template. So you'll see, uh, use this uh, dollar sign and uh, enter the name of the variable. So it will automatically uh, recognize the value of this uh, variable. Okay. And uh, we don't need to use uh, concatenation like we did in Java, in Java and uh, we can just type uh, any text we want inside the single uh, quotes. So, okay, so now let's uh, run this by control and enter. As you can see, uh, there is an error saying that uh, val cannot be reassigned. So basically, we cannot reassign our uh, number two because uh, it is a final uh, a variable like in Java. Okay, so let's copy this code and paste the, uh, down below and let's clear this. Okay, so let's delete this assignment and uh, let's run out uh, our code again by control and enter. As you can see, our code uh, compiled well. Okay. And uh, it works fine. So uh, string uh, templates are uh, very useful when you're uh, typing the text with uh, variables inside. So uh, for example, uh, in Java, uh, if we want to uh, print some uh, string, we would need to use a concatenation. So, for example, if I type uh, hello there, I need to close these uh, quotes and uh, say plus, then the variable name, then another plus, 
than another quote and uh, it's kind of boring and the time consuming job so uh, Kotlin uh, has a great solution for that matter and uh, for example when we want to uh, write a variable in Java uh, we first declare a type which is a string for example and then the var uh, variable name and uh, as you can see uh, at the end of this uh, variable we have a semicolon and uh, there uh, is no semicolon in Kotlin so we don't use that which is a great thing uh, also for example uh, you can use a boolean variable so you don't need to uh, type a boolean explicitly so you just uh, use a var keyword then the name of the variable and set it to true or false and just as you can see compiler uh, recognize this as a boolean as well or uh, we can uh, declare explicitly by uh, uh, saying colon and then uh, uh, the variable type okay but we don't have to so uh, that was it for this tutorial i just wanted to introduce you a little bit uh, with uh, uh, kotlin variables and uh, basic types so uh, it's not that hard it's uh, very easy and uh, it's a uh, good uh, syntax so uh, that would be all for this video please uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one